I'm gonna show you what would happen if I just put my feet flat on the floor and pull the airplane into a stall with power in there. I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. Hello aviators, welcome back to the Finer Points. What I'm gonna show you in this video is really simple, it's really straightforward, but it really could save your life someday. Uh, when we go out and practice power on stalls, the big fear is that we are going to enter a spin. And I'm gonna show you that if you're looking in the right spot, you can absolutely 100% stop the spin from happening. All right, a quick review on how a spin occurs. A spin occurs when you have a stall and a yawing moment at the same time. And the inside wing stalls first and more fully than the outside wing, which begins flying a path around the wing that's more stalled, and you descend in that helical pattern. Spin recovery is power to idle, ailerons neutral, rudder opposite the direction of rotation and elevator forward to break the stall and getting the power out right away and stopping the rotation is arguably the most important part if you're looking in the right spot when the spin starts to happen. Um, I'm going to take you out now and show you what a power on stall looks like with your feet flat on the floor. And by the way, all these videos are going into our ground school app. You get a full three day free trial. Just go to the app store and search ground school for more. All right, check this out. This is what it looks like if you completely forget to use rudder. So we're going to slow down just like we're doing a power on stall, but I am going to forget to add right rudder. Okay, I'm going to pretend, oops, I didn't know what those pedals are for. <laughs> All right, so I'm 3,500 feet. We're going to slow down to rotation speed, and then we're going to pull into it, add power, and forget to use the rudder. Let's see what this looks like. All right, there's rotation speed. Let's go ahead and add power in and pull. There's the yaw. There's the yaw. There's the yaw. There's the brake. See that? Now you can stop it. Just power out, right rudder, pitch forward to break it, find the horizon, and get your lift back into space. See that? So if I was looking down at that moment when the airplane started to roll over left, I could have gone into a spin, and that's why the Lindbergh reference is so important. I play a game with my students sometimes where we do those stall exercises, and I ask them to tell me which way it's going to go before the break happens. And you'd be surprised. There's like this, it's, you know, there's a, just enough visual cue. If you're looking in the right spot, you can say it's going left and then it goes, right? So you're just one step ahead of the airplane if you're looking at the, the right visual reference. All right, should we try that one more time? Let's make sure no one's around. Let's slow down to rotation speed. That's rotation speed. We add power, we pitch up. Oh boy, we forgot to use the rudder. Okay, there goes the brake and the roll. Power comes out, rudder stops the rotation, elevator breaks the stall, the lift goes back into space, and we pull out of the dive. All right, if you're looking in the right spot, you will not spin the airplane, all right? You can stop that action if you know where to look and you know what to do, all right? Try that next time you're out there. Um, the common errors <laughs> for that type of incipient spin demonstration would be not looking in the right spot. Also not reacting, right? If that airplane starts to roll over to the left, you just, in, you know, just need to get the power out right away. Stop the left pull, stop the rotation with your rudder, and now you're just in this weird angle. You need to pitch forward, break the stall, and find the horizon. All right, so don't freeze up because if you continue to hold the controls, you will enter a spin. All right, aviators, that's all for this episode of The Finer Points. Huge thanks to the patrons. There's lots of bonus content going to Patreon, so if you feel like you can support The Finer Points, you're getting a lot out of these videos. There's a lot of extra content. Just go to patreon.com slash learn TFP. Also, all of these skills videos that I'm doing are going into our Ground School app. There is a free three-day trial. Please go check that out. Uh, we're accepting deposits for next year's adventure trips, so come join us at Airplane Camp 2021. Also, a big thanks to the sponsors. Remember, when you renew your AOPA membership, 
please select Pilot Protection Services. Big thanks to you, the best fans on the internet, for watching this video. I'm Jason Miller, and until next time, be safe and buy your best.